I physically cannot find the words to describe how excited I am for this. They're gonna have a viewing party, a music festival, and a hog roast. We had an eclipse float and our astronaut sit on it. I think it's gonna be big. On August 21st, the United States will be in the path of a total solar eclipse in which the moon will pass completely in front of the sun, casting a shadow on the Earth and making the sun seem to disappear. There hasn't been one like this over the U.S. since 1979, and this time around, the small town of Ravenna, Nebraska, is hoping to make the most of it. So we'll come on in here. My husband's uncle bought it. He told us that this was coming and that Ravano was actually gonna be like an ideal place to view the eclipse from. While almost everyone in the country will be able to see a partial eclipse, Ravenna happens to sit directly in the path of totality, a 70 mile wide area where the sun will be completely blocked for nearly two minutes. The town of 1300 is expecting up to 15,000 visitors for the big day. Its only hotel started receiving bookings three years ago. I've got people that's called and want to rent space out back for putting up tents and just, it's just amazing. A total solar eclipse happens roughly every 18 months somewhere in the world and can sometimes occur over water or in remote locations. But a small group of enthusiasts known as eclipse chasers follow the events wherever they occur. Kate Russo is one of them, and she also works as a consultant for cities preparing to experience an eclipse for the first time. This is what brought her to Ravenna this summer. Is the eclipse lady in town, <laughs> I think, is the, is the common thing. So I've traveled to places such as Madagascar, Australia twice, Mongolia, China, Turkey. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it covers 18 years of my life. Wherever the path of totality takes you, you're absolutely going to be there. And this is what makes this eclipse really special. So Ravenna is a really small town, so everybody you meet seems to be smiling, saying hello. There's our mayor! <laughs> Get a shot of our mayor! <laughs> a lot of people have never seen a total solar eclipse, and so they can't imagine why people would travel from all around the world to see it. They can't imagine why it would be of interest to them, but it really is a big deal. Ravenna used to be a railroad town, but the economy has been struggling since trains stopped running through and workers no longer stay overnight. Local businesses now count on an annual street festival that brings in a few thousand people to set them up for the whole year. So the massive numbers expected for the eclipse could be life-changing. They went crazy with ideas. That's when like, oh, we should be selling sweet corn and you can make souvenirs and then you can do this. To see all these kind of people come through and sit down and visit with them and tell them about Nebraska, tell them that they're on the borderline between cattle country and, and farm country and what the actual difference is. Kind of given this uh, strange town, it's time to shine and it's gonna really benefit the town for the better. I have over 50 people staying personally at my house during the eclipse. They, they all try to figure out how they can get here because it's gonna be one huge party in our town, you know? 